Are obstacles really a bad thing? Whenever most people think of obstacles, they think of challenges that they want to avoid. This perspective on obstacles tends to view them largely in a negative light. After all, obstacles can take a hit to your mental health, financial stability, relationships, and a number of other aspects of your life. But are obstacles really a bad thing? In this tutorial, I'm going to answer that very question. In short, obstacles are challenging, but they're not really bad because they teach you about yourself, help you grow, and strengthen relationships. Let's dive right into this tutorial. Are obstacles really a bad thing? No. As we've already mentioned, obstacles can really take a toll on your life. Whether the obstacle be getting a promotion at work or a severe diagnosis by your doctor, obstacles may feel overwhelming and entirely negative. Although obstacles certainly are challenging, it is important that they aren't viewed like a wholly bad thing. If you only view obstacles in a negative light, you could be robbing yourself of growth opportunities and hindering your ability to overcome the obstacles. That's not to say the obstacles are not challenging and devastating at the time. On the contrary, obstacles can be incredibly overwhelming and feel like a negative aspect in your life. It's just important to remember that there are positives, as well as negatives, to every obstacle you face. They teach you about yourself. One of the biggest benefits of obstacles is that they teach you about yourself. Every time you face a new obstacle, you better learn how to interact with others and the world. You also learn about your limits, strengths, and ability to function. Though knowing yourself better may not seem like a super important benefit, it is actually critical to loving and appreciating yourself. Not to mention knowing about yourself boosts your self-esteem and confidence because it shows you that you are a capable adult. As you begin to learn about yourself through the obstacles you face, you learn where your strengths lie and gain confidence, allowing you to tackle obstacles more efficiently in the future. They help you grow. Another major benefit of obstacles is that they help you grow. The only time you should grow stagnant is after death. The moment you stop growing is the moment you stop truly living your life. Obstacles ensure that you are continually becoming the best version of yourself. That's because obstacles force you to reflect upon yourself, your weaknesses, your strengths, and the world around you. During this reflection process, you can better yourself both on a conscious and subconscious level. After the reflection, you become more capable at overcoming obstacles, but you'll also likely experience an increase in self-compassion, empathy, and a number of other qualities associated with strong and capable people. They help you relate to others. Obstacles can also help you improve your relationships. The most meaningful relationships are built on empathy, compassion, and understanding. As you face obstacles, you become better at relating to others because you understand various hardships of life. These experiences can help you relate to others who have gone through similar experiences as well. Having shared experiences and obstacles with a person will boost your connection, trust, and overall relationship. Final thoughts. Once again, obstacles certainly are challenging, but they're not really a bad thing. They teach you about yourself and give you opportunities to grow, helping to boost your self-esteem and self-love. At the same time, obstacles help you to relate to others for more fulfilling relationships. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.